everybody. Today I will be making a video on hermit crabs. So, and the, what you will need and what kind, what size cage will be good for your hermit crabs. So, first thing you will want is obviously hermit crabs. <laughs> and some, and if you have, if you, if you are planning on getting more than one, you might want to make like this. And everything you see here is something. So let's get started with with easy things, shells. So you will need different size shells, like here you have a small shell, here you have a big shell. So so when your hermit crab grows, it will get out of its shell and try to find a new shell. In the wild it would do this with like with um obviously shells. <laughs> and so they have painted shells and and you can also buy them like shells that, that would look like they're in the wild. I personally like painted shells, but... Eh. And the se second thing you will need is a food and, and and water dish. So the reason you will need a, a water dish is so that they can bathe themselves. But they will go into your... They, they will go into the water and, and they'll get soaked and everything. Here's where they get their water. There's these little sponges. I'll put these inside. Hopefully they don't break. Okay. So, so what kind of so what you do with these? You take some lukewarm water, and you put the well not you put cold. It's lukewarm into the dish. Okay, so you put cold water in here. Have some water in here, and and it's kind of like a sponge. You just squeeze it, and you get all your water. Second and third thing you will need is a hideout. Yeah. It you you only need one, but you can get multiple. They don't really attack each other, but you 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 don't only need one. But so the reason you will need this so it's like so that they have like a dark place to hide and sorry I'm. I just lost my attention. I just spilled all my water. That's something you do not want to do. Spill all your water. I will be right back with some more water. Just enjoy the scenery of some hermit crabs while I go get some water. I'm back with some water and and so you might want and really quick about the sponges you might want you might want a couple because just in case they run out of water let me just get some water give me a second please and obviously you will need food I like this brand, F FMR. I personally like this brand. If you can even see that. Focus. Focus on. Sorry about this. Difficulties. Basically, it's just FMR, hermit crab food, and hermit crab food can be expensive. That's all I really have to say. So I'm going to show you how to set up your hermit crab cage now. Sorry about this. We might 
some technical difficulties. Let's do it from the FaceTime thing. Okay, so all, oh, sorry about that, I have an itch. Okay, so basically, you will want to put your hideout in a, in a corner like this. The reason you want it like that is so that this doesn't move a lot and disturb them. I know you guys really want to be in there. This is a new member to the family. Say hi. Say hi, Johnny. That's Johnny. There you go, Johnny. And here is Steve. Okay, so I was just getting them out of this cage. And this is not a new family member, it's just a shell that I bought. So let's put that in there. Oh, oh yeah, and you will also need rocks. I, I use these and some rocks that I found on the beach, but you can use whatever. And you, please don't escape, Steve. Steve, please do not escape. And you also want another water dish, such as this one. And so let's get some of our rocks. Let's, let's place them in. One second. You can also do this so that you don't make as big of a mess on your floor. Please do not escape, Steve. Please do not escape. Sorry about this, we are having some technical difficulties. Really, Steve? Okay, I'm gonna just have to wait for you to walk down. I will be right back. And really quick, before I cut back to the normal part of the video, if your hermit crab does this, please do not pull on the shell because you can rip them out of their shell and you can really hurt them. Just some words of advice. I'm back. I still haven't got Steve. Really? Well, basically, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, halfway through, I. I thought, hey, I could show them how. How if their hermit crab does this, how they can get. How they can get him off. So basically, if the, you want to block off a side like this, that they're on, and then. Oh my God, Steve. And then basically, you'll want to wait for them to kind of ball up. And then once they do that, you can grab them by the, by like two pieces of their shell, kind of like this, and kind of like push them through, kind of like, like kind of like, like if they're balled up, you can kind of just go like this. No, Steve, that's an area that you will not want to go to. back sorry about that well basically where was that oh yeah so still putting some of these rocks so if 
Okay, so, so after you've got all your rocks in, you will hope that Steve won't escape. Okay, now that's it. Bye. I'm just joking. So basically, once you get everything right, like um, every, all your rocks in and your and your two dishes and, and their sponges kind of thing, you you don't want to put their food and then their water dish next to each other because because then they can go into the water then get like if you have the brand of food that I have. Then go into the fruit, then go into the water, and then get all the water dirty. So then that, they, so then that you'll have to clean it more often. But I personally like to put them apart, like kind of like this. And even though they got some water right there, they don't really use that. I like to put this one in the corner. So then you put your food in. Let me get this cap off. So then, once you put it, looks disgusting. Once you do that, and you put your water in. I was recording that whole time. Sorry about that. Okay, so basically, after you put in all your water, you'll want to check on your hermit crabs to make sure that they're safe. And then really, there's nothing much to it. They're good starter pets. They're good. They're they're like good pets. They're easy to take care of. <sighs> Sorry about that. some food. And sometimes, and um, like say you run, say you run out of cage room like this. So, or say you get more he um, hermit crabs. It's simple solution. You can just have them in another cage. You can cut out a section of your chicken wire, like a, like a little circle, and then you can take some more chicken wire and then wrap it, and then and then just wrap it into a circle, put it through the hole, and then put it through the other hole, and yeah, that's really it for the video. And bye.